Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we are going to do question number 8. It says write the balanced chemical equation for the following and identify the type of reaction in each case. Alright, so here there's word equation given to us. Let's solve it one by one. So the first thing given to us is potassium bromide KBr plus barium iodide BaI2 giving Ki potassium iodide plus barium bromide. Alright, now here even the state of each thing was given. Potassium bromide is aqueous, barium iodide aqueous, potassium iodide aqueous and barium bromide is solid. It's a precipitate. Alright, so here I'm not going to write each atom in uh, a list of RHS and LHS. I've already done that in the previous two videos. So if you still are in the learning process, please do follow that video. So in this I'll just go a little ahead. Alright, so here I have potassium 1. Potassium 1 on the, on the right hand side, so that's okay. Br1, but on the right hand side Br2 are there. So I'll just put 2 Br over here. So Br is balanced. Now barium 1 on both sides. Iodide 1 on the right hand side, but 2 on the left hand side. So if I put 2 here, that's going to balance even the potassium as well as iodine. So now if you're trying to put down the list and see the number of atoms on both the right and left hand side, they both will be the same. Alright, now here what is happening? The Br which was on potassium is now moved to barium. And iodine which was on barium has moved to potassium. So what has happened basically? There is a displacement. But it's not just a single, it's a double displacement because Br has moved from K to Ba. Iodine has moved from I to, uh, from, uh, to, from Ba to K. So two times displacement has happened. Therefore, this is a double displacement reaction. Alright, so this is a double displacement reaction. Second question is zinc carbonate solid which will give zinc oxide solid plus carbon dioxide gas all right now here in this case zinc i have one atom zinc i have one atom so zinc is all balanced carbon one atom here carbon one atom carbon is also balanced three of oxygen on the left hand side one on zinc oxide and one two on carbon dioxide both will give three so if you see, this is already a balanced equation that is there with us. So this is already balanced. We don't have to go ahead and balance it. Now, what type of a reaction is it? I have only a single component on the left-hand side. That is just breaking down to give two compounds. So what is it? It's a decomposition reaction. So I'm just going to write here. Decomposition reaction. All right, next one. I have hydrogen gas plus chlorine gas giving hydrogen chloride gas. So here I have two hydrogens on the left hand side but only one hydrogen on the right hand side. So I'll just put two over here. I have two chlorines on the right hand left hand side. Now I have two chlorines on the right hand side. So this equation is now balanced by just putting two in front of HCl. Alright, now what kind of a reaction is it? Two of the components on the left hand side has combined to give one component. So this has to be a combination reaction. It's just combining to give one product. Okay, so it's a combination reaction. Last one is magnesium solid plus hydrochloric acid aqueous giving magnesium chloride aqueous plus hydrogen gas all right now let's count and see magnesium on the left hand side one magnesium on the right hand side also one hydrogen on the left hand side one but hydrogen on the right hand side two so let's put two here now 
CL on the left hand side now is 2, right hand side 2. So just by putting 2 HCl on the left hand side, the entire reaction has become balanced. Now, in this case, what is happening? Magnesium does not have any other ion with it, but hydrogen has one CL with it. That CL has just moved to magnesium, but nothing from magnesium is coming here. So what is happening? It is displacing, but only one displacement is happening. So this is not going to be a double displacement. This is going to be just displacement reaction. Okay. So when I have double displacement, I'll have two of it simultaneously exchanging. But in this case, only high CL is moving from hydrogen to magnesium. That's all. So it's just a displacement reaction. So this way, a detailed uh, video of how to balance it using left hand side, right hand side, number of atoms. I've done previous two videos of these in detail. That's question number six and question number seven. Since I've already done that in detail, I did not go in detail over here. I just balanced it just by looking at the equation. So if you're someone who's really struggling and how to do it, you can watch those two videos, which is question number six and question number seven, the previous two videos that will give you an idea of how to balance the equation. Then identifying because the question says identify the type of reaction in each case. Alright.